I'm your host, Lou, and today I'm giving a big shout out to Denny over there at Flat Broke Air Gunner. He got me this cool hat with a patch already on it and a cool pin on the back to boot. Check that out, everybody. In honor of Denny and the Flat Broke Air Gun channel, I want to show you guys how I make my homemade ballistics gel. Now, I know you can buy the clear ballistics, but that stuff costs an arm and a leg. So we're going to do it the flat broke air gunner style and we're going to make some homemade ballistics gel. Now the first thing you got to do is ask your wife if you can use some of the cooking utensils around the house. Uh, even if you do all the cooking, you better make sure it's cool because you don't want to ruin anything by mistake. The second thing you're going to need is a container of Knox gelatin. I get this off of Amazon. Two of these for like 30 bucks. This is a one pound container. And... We're going to need a measuring cup. We're going to need something to make a mold for a ballistics gel. And if you ever want to get fancy and you want to make a Jimmy the Gel Head, get yourself a mold. Just pour the gel in there. Add yourself some fake blood with a baggie and you guys are ready to go. If you guys haven't seen Jimmy the Gel Head, go look at some videos out there. Uh, the Hot Sound Flash has Jimmy and there's a couple of them out there. So, now that I've shown you what we need to get this party started, I'm going to show you the ingredients, how to mix them, and I'll also let you know that if the mixture isn't thick enough to your liking, just add more powder and uh, to, to your mixture and it'll become thicker. But I'm going to show you how I do it, the flat broke air gunner style. Let's check it out. One and two. That equals four cups all together. Now while that's rocking and rolling, we're going to get our Knox gelatin here. See that? We're going to get that there. This is, uh, we're going to use the lid here. I have this one already open. And what I do is, there's a little line on there that says one and two. I fill it up to the second line. And you don't want to just dump this in there uh, all at once and stir it. It'll just become a giant mess. So what you want to do next is get a hand whisk. That's all I got. But if you got a, one of them there electric ones, it makes life a lot easier. But since uh, we flat broke, we're using the hand whisk. And while that's getting warmed up, it's just a low heat. We just add just a little bit at a time constantly stirring it's going to take some time now I'm going to edit this down a little bit because it does take about 10-15 minutes to get through this whole container sometimes when I get through it I want to add uh, sometimes I do a whole nother line if I really want to make it uh, ass slappy if you know what I mean uh, <laughs> Maybe we'll do that today. We'll make it uh, extra ass slappy so you guys can uh, check it out here. It is a long process. Once you get the uh, gel set, you're going to have to let it set at least 8 to 12 hours. I just let it set overnight. So making gel really basically becomes a two-day process. I'll show you why it's two days here later on in the video. We're still adding our powder slowly and stirring constantly stirring because the more you store stir keep it moving uh, it's not going to chunk up on you now the good thing about this ballistics gel is you could melt it down at, uh, at least two to three times before uh, it becomes too cloudy and useless uh, you can store it in your fridge for about a week but after a week it's going to start getting funky and shrink and, and shed so use it within a, a few days but you can melt it down two or three times you may actually get more uh, meltdowns than I do because I usually shoot clay into it as well or shoot clay in front of it so it kind of muckies up my uh, ballistics gel pretty nice quick bit. there we go alright next step Grab your container from the dollar store, put it in there. All right, gotta clean that stuff up here in a little bit. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. 
it is a little foamy. Now what we're going to do is put this in the refrigerator for about, uh, well, I'm going to put it in overnight. I, it's uh, exactly 12.43 a.m. I'm going to melt this down probably tomorrow night about midnight. Uh, we're going to come back here. Let me just uh, put it in the fridge All for right, you guys. You got it in the fridge. And we'll see this bad boy uh, tomorrow. All right, it's the uh, next night. Just got home from work. It is now at 12.47, almost 24 hours. So let's see here. Just a hair over. Our gel is good. Uh, now, this gel is fine to shoot as it is right now if you pop it out. Uh, it does have some white. That's the... Uh, the foam that was on there earlier uh but this once you pop it out I'll, we'll take a look at it and uh i'll show you what you can do uh is melt it down and you can skim it off now you can like i said you can shoot it right now just like this but uh i'm going to melt it down skim that off just to make it a little bit more clearer but for ballistics purposes you can shoot it just like this you probably get about uh anywhere from two to four uses out of it before it gets too cloudy uh you got to use it in about two weeks time otherwise it starts getting funky but let's pop this bad boy out and see what it looks like bad boy out i've already went around the edges and pushed them down so it should pop out pretty easy there we go see that's the bottom there but as you can see it's fairly clear. Let me get you in a better light here. Hang on a second. As you see, it's fairly clear. You see my hands behind it. There you go. This light does not do it justice, but it's fairly clear. There you go. As you see, the ass slappy gel is pretty decent there. Uh, now what we're going to do is I want to show you how to melt it down so you can reuse it after you shoot through your ballistics gel. The dog just came down. So uh, let's check that out. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here, and then we're going to hit a little time lapse, uh, time motion Doctor Who style. Hang on a second. Now I put uh, hot water in the sink, and I'm adding boiling hot water as we go just to speed up the process. At one point, I drained the sink as it cooled down, and I had to refill it with hot water and more boiling hot water. But as you can see, it started melting pretty good here. All right, this is melted down when I pop it out. The next time it's going to be even more clear because it got rid of all that uh, foam on there. But like I said, you could use it uh, exactly it was the first time. It'll certainly shoot. Now, because uh, you might get a couple of questions. Is this FBI spec rated? Absolutely not. Uh, the gel that we made that, with that exact recipe, you can shoot uh, most springers, certainly most pump guns, uh, 10 yards would be the minimum distance I would shoot into the uh, gel, uh, but like I said, uh, 17722 uh, pumpers, magnums, it may go through, but you can always double up that recipe and thicken it up even more so you may be able to push it out to maybe like 30 foot-pounds of muzzle energy and capture that pellet. But for uh, if you're a pumper guy like me and a brake barrel guy and you know 17722 caliber uh, PCP guy, I'm telling you, uh, you know, you don't want to spend 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars on a block of gel. You get some Amazon delivered to your door for 30 bucks, spend an hour or two mixing it up, and then uh, wait overnight and you're ready to shoot some ballistics gel and you can see what your pellets are doing. It's really cool. So there you go, folks. That's how to make ballistics gel. I hope somebody uh, uses the recipe and I hope you have great success. Good luck. Happy pew pew. Everybody stay safe and I'll catch you all. Next.